Hey folks, welcome to another Split Kick Plays. My name is Jim Hunter, I'm your host for this evening. Um, originally I had planned to do a Let's Play of State of Decay for tonight, uh, but this this game just came out uh, today on, on Steam. Uh, it's called Elysius, and it, it caught my eye. It has, uh, first of all, it's a, it's a greenlit game, so that that was cool. Um, it's, it's done in Unreal Engine. Um, by this this company called Nocturnal Studios. I mean, I got the the page up here. You can see it yourself. But um, it's a it's a horror survival first person adventure game. Um, and uh, I try just just to let you know the I have to do this in a windowed mode for this time for some reason. Um, it gave, it was giving me some issues uh, with with how it was displaying in the stream. So here's the the great title screen. When when you when you start it up. It actually asks you. There's a little tick mark that last asks you to uh, either turn on or off uh, NPC um, interactions, uh, basically alluding to the fact that you can make this a strict adventure game without any sort of without any sort of danger involved. So uh, I left that on because if this is survival horror or if it has that those type of elements in it, that I, I kind of like to keep those in there. So let's uh let's see what what this game is all about. And it just put me out of full screen. It was September of 1992 when I received the letter from my mother asking me to visit her at our home. The letter she told yeah, me. Yeah, like I said, I, I had issues with this earlier, so I apologize in advance for about my father. That made me curious because my father had died before I was born, and mother rarely talked about him. I decided to travel at night to avoid traffic. After three hours of driving, I reached the country road, and I was getting pretty tired. It was dark outside, and I still had a long way to go. Not bad voice acting. Pretty good. Looks good. Ow. Actually, uh, quite a nice looking game, especially for something that was greenlit and independently developed. My car is wrecked, I need to continue on foot to find some help. Now, before I continue, I'm going to try to blow this up a little bit um, to make it a little bit nicer for you guys. Has some issues. Let's see. Throw it in 1080p windowed mode. Hopefully that'll. Hopefully that'll take care of it for you. Eh. It's probably about as good as we're gonna get. And unfortunately, that's probably gonna affect the frame rate too. So, what are you gonna do? It can't all be perfect. It's a it's a very very nice looking game. Got a little little shimmer on that stuff, but yeah, you can sprint. You can do all the too far to go on foot. I need to find another way. Wait a minute! You just said I need to continue on foot. Here, oh, ooh, that's that's nice looking. By the light of the silvery moon. All right, you know what? I'm gonna. Seems to be a path here. Oh, oh, of course. Press I for inventory, F for flashlight, J for journal. Not in that order. Let's 
September of 1992 when I received a letter from my mother asking her to visit her in our hometown. In the letter she told me that she wanted to see me and also that she wanted to talk to me about my father. That made me curious because my father had died before I was born. My mother rarely talked about him. Suddenly a big, big rock came, crushed my car, yada yada. And uh, the little scratching of of pen that I just heard sounded like, uh, yep, a little note added to the book. Wow, the fault walk speed is epically slow. I can pick up the rock. Oh, it's like physics. Cool. I like physics. Uh, look at it's a lunar eclipse. Mm -hmm. right. Sorry. I'm done playing. I'll just continue on. Look at these. Very nice lighting effects. I mean, that's that's what you get when you use a serious engine. Very nice. Oh, the well is is boarded up. Looks like this used to be a campsite, maybe. off in the distance up there. Of course, there's wolves. Wish that cursor was a little nicer, but... It's an old village. Maybe I can find someone to ask for help. I mean, there are lights on. But, uh... This doesn't appear to be... It's got a lock right there. Hello? Anybody here? Random dude coming in, trying all the doors. Let's see. Looks. It's a flickering light on it. That's probably just a. Uh, that's locked too. Everything's locked. What a bunch of crap. Can I pick the flowers? Lost control. Show me something special. Uh oh. It's probably cranberry juice. Or ketchup. Ah, oh, thank God you heard me. They locked me in. Please, help me get out. What happened? Where's the key? They took the key with them. As they were leaving, I heard one of them say to the other, In vino veritas. I hope that makes sense to you. Who locked you in? And why? D Just hurry, and I'll explain everything to you later. They could come back any moment now. <sighs> so... Yes, it's Latin. It means the truth is in the wine, but... The problem is, is that they pronounced it incorrectly. In vino veritas. It's a hand-washing station here. 
you're going to use Latin and you're going to say that people actually said something, it would probably be best to actually pronounce it properly. Maybe most people wouldn't notice, but... My flashlight batteries are done. Already. It didn't take very long. Is there a key underneath? Uh, I'm, a, I'm just I unfortunately can't see, so hopefully hopefully there's nothing there to look at. It's clear water. It sure is. Looks like blood. All the doors are locked. What does my journal say? Need to find new batteries, need to find a key in this very narrow area of exploration without a flashlight. some hints. You see any wine line around? Oh, maybe this way. There we go. Holla. Oh, save point. What's that? Uh, just a weird looking texture. Just stuck out a little bit. What is. Oh. the wine cellar without the light on the strong cell of mine yep I need to get a light on oh maybe I can use this old generator oh need to find some gas okay so it is really an adventure game rubber chicken and a pulley You guys see any see any gas lying around or batteries? I'd like some batteries first, but probably gotta get keep moving. And there's all these lights. Little bugs flying around it. Nice detail, nice town. A lot of locked doors in this town. Just keep following the path, see what happens. Down to the stream. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, empty container. It's an empty gas container.
So, now I just need to find the gas, put it in the can. Oh man, it's real easy to get lost here. Oh man. Especially without a flashlight. Too bad they made it burn out so fast. Oh, is there a forking path here? Looks like it. Oh, what's this? Wood chopping? Yeah. Uh oh. oh get the hell out of the way. Alright, now we got an axe, I should be able to break into every door, right? Probably not. Anything else in, of note? No, it doesn't look like it. Just some... Some rocks that rolled down the hill. I'm sorry, trees roll downhill. So obviously a conspiracy going on here. To keep everything as dark as possible. Uh, I'd like to see a game that did something more. I mean, you, you can set the mood properly without necessarily making a game almost impossible to see. I mean, I understand, but... Oh, there we go. That's an old Vespa. There's some gas inside. All right. Combine items. Oh, great. Now I need something to help me get the gas out. Uh, clicky click, click click. All right. What can the axe do for me that I haven't I haven't figured out yet? Some wood already chopped here. Anything going on? Does this do anything for me? Seems weird to throw just physics stuff in here if the, you're not going to use them. Um. playing with this this rug here. You'd think there'd be a key here. But it's so dark I can't see. I'm gonna glint. Truth is in the wine. Maybe this is actually wine and not blood. Sounds like a predator every once in a while. I just talk to that, talk to that lady again. Oh, no need, no need to chat. I've got a key right here. Hold on, there it is. What do you mean it won't do? Of course it will. It's a wooden door. Bust it down. Can't use that here. The journal doesn't say anything specific. Oh. 
Why did the screen just resize like that on me? There we go. It's a little obtuse. But, I like, I, I kind of like most of the things about this game right now. It is certainly a first person adventure. Alright, let's go uh, see if I can spot anything else in the darkness that I missed. Oh, there's Predator again. Creaking, creaking. That's a funnel. If I ever, if I ever saw one, that's a funnel. Okay. I know I'm supposed to do something else, but All right, so this is a wine cellar. Is there anything next to the generator? Nope. All right. It's got to be something somewhere else. I'm sure this is terribly interesting, watching me walk around and try to s bumble my th way through an adventure game in front of everyone. I did like how, I was when I was walking back to town, it just, you know, after I had already gotten the can, it told me, oh, here's the Vespa, or just, just through vis visual cues, I mean, you know, you're walking down the other way, you don't necessarily see that, and then, oh, there you go, there's the... There's the gas. Now you just need a way to get the gas, unfortunately. Is there anything underneath that I can do? Nope. Alright, I'll just, just follow the paths. Maybe I just missed something. Entirely possible, considering the, how dark this game is. But let's be honest, I shouldn't be hunting around the woods for a trinket or whatever. I mean, the, but the things that I've gotten have stood out pretty, pretty well from the environment. The Vespa stood out well, the, the stuck jerry can stood up pretty well. I'd also assume there's gas in my car because the car was not destroyed, it was just hit by a rock and put out of commission. Man, look how dark this is. Ugh. fog around. Effective for mood, but not for showing off anything. Oh, look at that. Bounced. Bounced back for some reason. I'd really like to just get this thing so I can at least start the generator and, and show you what's in the, uh, in the basement, but that may not happen tonight. I 
it created a nice environment to walk around in. Um, I don't know, did, did I use my flashlight too much and it just burned out, or was that just a thing that you were expected to have happen? Can't tell. Maybe I can chop these things. I mean, I picked up an axe. Let's try to chop. Nope. 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 It's not saying I can. It's highlighting like I can, but... I mean, this is straight up, straight up item combination at that point. I don't know. Well, it was worth a shot to check this game out. Um, it, it seems to have some merit to it, so I'm not I'm not going to completely say no. Don't get this game because there's a lot to a lot to like. Not, maybe not necessarily the spookiest game. Uh, there's gas here. Get the gas. Extract the gas with the axe. I don't need to smash it. Maybe you do. Maybe you need, do need to smash it. Oh, uh, and of course escape just does that to the screen. Can I have other special controls that I'm not seeing? The map, journal location, flashlight, crouch, run, toggle, nope. There's a map. that I don't have. Oh man, this thing just does not want to go full, go and stay full screen. All right. One one last quick little lap. Oh. Now I have to do it. This might be helpful. Huh. Hmm. What will I use it for? I think that I will combine items. Oh, you can't combine items, alright. So you use the hose first. Now I need this thing. Sounds like I'm urinating. Can I take that? I'd like the hose back just in case I need to beat somebody with it. Alright, let's roll. Let's find out what's in this wine cellar. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Look! It it just gets a label put right on it. I don't even that's that's sweet. Alright, there we go. No, no animation required to actually fill it up. Ah, <sighs> very nice. Truth is in the wine. Boy, it was sure worth coming down here, <laughs> turning on that generator. Ooh. The barrel is empty. Hey guys, I have an axe. Yeah. Someone's coming. Gotta turn off the generator. Hope for the best.
Phew. I think we're alone now. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. What is this yellow bar on the side of my screen here? Oh. I got smacked in the head. I think that may be a good time to stop. He tricked me. That jerk. Wow, that was the first chapter already. Alright, well, so this has been, um, Elise, 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 um, something. E-L-E-U-S-I-S. -E -S. It's on Steam. It was green lighted. Green lit. And, um,. Of course, as I said before, I'm Jim Hunter. I'm the host of the Rocket Jump Podcast and the editor-in-chief of Split Kick. And I do these videos every once in a while. This is October, so I've been trying to focus on the spooky. What is it trying to do here? Alright. Let's not go any further. Let's, uh... Let's, let's escape. 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 Oh, he, he's running away. Instead of bashing me in the head again, I'll run away. Alright. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and uh, stick around for, uh, maybe tomorrow I'll do another one of these. Ho maybe State of Decay will finally, finally get its chance to, uh, to shine, so take it easy. Guess what? The hotkeys aren't even working, so that's why I was looking at you so seductively.